The Playdate is doing something great for developers and users alike. And what they're doing could change the video game industry as we know it. My name is Gavin, and welcome back to Playdate Central. If you're new, subscribe to keep up to date with the latest on Playdate. If you've owned a video game console before, you know how upsetting restrictions can be. Maybe you didn't find your favorite genre, or you can't play your favorite game because it got discontinued and there's no way to download it. Or if you're a developer, even making a game at all can be difficult because you have to pay a bunch of fees, do a lot of paperwork, and get licensed just to make a game. Not to mention, a lot of profits go back to the company. Well, that's what Playdate aims to change. People who develop for Playdate or want to develop for Playdate can do so absolutely free with their free SDK or free browser-based game editor called Pulp. And developers are free to market and list their Playdate games however they want and wherever they want without the company getting involved. This gives the developers who make games more incentive because they get to keep all the profit. And the people who want to play those games can do so easily through sideloading. So you don't need to go through any shop. I love that the Playdate is such an open console. I really think that all this freedom that the Playdate is giving people is a really good move for Playdate and a really great extra that these modern game consoles don't have. It's wonderful and definitely adds to the charm of the Playdate. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed, why not subscribe and watch one of these videos next? My name is Gavin, this is Playdate Central. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.